behind the earthquake is taking a back seat to humanitarian efforts. Some geologists are still paying attention. And that includes one at the UW who has been researching the area for years. Newsery's Jessica Arp tells us more about what he's learned, Jess. Well, even scientists aren't immune to the shock of the footage in Haiti, but beyond the emotional reaction to the human loss from the quake, one UW scientist says he's not surprised about what happened. The yellow star shows the epicenter of the uh, magnitude 7. Chuck Demetz didn't predict when an earthquake would hit Haiti, but he knew how strong it could be. We know the faults will eventually rupture, so eventually we'll be proved right. Demetz has been studying a fault line that runs from eastern Jamaica through Haiti called the Enriqueo Plantain Garden Fault. In 2007, he estimated that since an earthquake hadn't hit the Jamaican end in more than 100 years, when it did, it could hit 7.2. And although we didn't make any predictions or forecasts for Haiti, um, at least the scientists familiar with this area know that, uh, that uh, the two islands and what happens on them are closely related. So closely that he says Jamaicans have reason to be worried. It could be 100 years from now and it could be tomorrow. What, what is clear is that when one fault ruptures um, and it's connected to another fault, that the rupture on the one fault um, loads the other fault. Just like a crack in a windshield, he says the pressure could move down the fault. If I were issuing seismic alerts, it would be for right here. So he'll watch and wait. I've asked my Jamaican colleague to go make some measurements at the point in Jamaica closest to Haiti to see if we can detect anything that could be useful for the, um, this geophysical response to the earthquake. Demet says, ironically, this is Earthquake Awareness Week in the country of Jamaica, and he says the scientists and the community there are keenly aware of what might happen. That fault line actually comes through the eastern part of Jamaica and ends in Kingston, which is a, is uh, a heavily populated area. Interesting story, mm -hmm. I'll tell you. Jessica Arp reporting. Now, Jessica, thank you very Thanks, much. Jeff.